Greetings and welcome to the Passion to Profits podcast COVID-19 episodes where we're going to provide you with local, state, federal and global updates, news, resources and tips for small businesses and for individuals. This is your host Teresa W. Gamble, the founder and CEO of CRPC Consulting and ENT Gamble Enterprises. Well, welcome everybody for tuning in and listening. I just so much has happened since our last podcast and from my family to yours, from my company to yours, we want to send out our sincere prayer and protection for each and every one under the sound of my voice that you all are staying safe. You're doing what you need to do of social distancing, um, practicing um, personal hygiene to keep sanitary things safe, not just for now in this season, but moving forward in the future. But today I want to talk to you about the recent CARES Act that was passed on March 19th. Um, by the Senate, where it's known as the COVID-19. And a lot of small business owners has been include, has been concerned about how can this bill really help bail you out or get help you sustain during this time. But in the bill, which is available online, there is two sections. It's a section A, uh, a Division A, which is a small business interruption loans. And then there's a section B for the individual and the small businesses. But what I want to talk about today, because I've been flooded with emails and also planning some updated conversations with some of the congressmen and women that served on the committee to, that was successfully involved in improving, approving, getting this bill approved. I'm sorry. So one of the emails I received from the United States Senate Committee on Small Business and Intra- Entrepreneurship is the small business owner guide to the CARES Act. They just rolled this out in the email today and it talks about how you're struggling to get started and it highlights about capital cover the cost of retaining your employees, which is the paycheck, the protection program, a quick infusion of a smaller amount of cash to cover you right now. Um, you might want to look at the emergency economic injury grant and then to erase your fears about keeping up with payments on your current and potential SBA loan. There's a small business debt relief program that can help and also just some quality free counseling to help you navigate this uncertain economic time. They have a list of resource partners available. I will provide all this this handout that I receive via email. I will make it available to all the small business owners on my website, which is CRPC Consulting LLC.com if you're interested and you want to know more. Then the next information that I received, the Paycheck Protection Program, there's a sample application that you have to complete. And I just want to go over a qu- very quickly of the things that you must have to complete this um, program for the um, so you can get your documents together. And that was one thing they were stressing about business owners that we need to be organized. They have different categories of businesses that can apply on the application is nonprofit, veteran organization, tribal community, individual, and self-employed. You have to have your business legal name or doing business as or a trade name, your business primary address, your business TIN or EIN or social security number, a business phone number, a primary contact, email address, your average monthly payroll. So this is where you're going to need your accountant or your CPA to come in to help you with this. So you will need, I would encourage you to gather all your invoices from whatever payment methods that you use to invoice for payments and collections, whether it's PayPal, QuickBooks, Square Up, Cash App, um, Stripe, all those different pay payment methods that you're using, you need to pull all that information, how you paying your payroll employees, or you can pull your bank statements from online. Then um, it has a formula for you to calculate to determine how much of a loan amount you need based on your monthly payroll you pay out and how many jobs you have for your employees. Then you have to give them a purpose for the loan. And there's four categories. Payroll, rent, slash mortgage interest, utilities, or other. 
On the other, you need to explain. So you need to make sure you very detailed in your explanation. Then they want to know applicant ownership. List of all the people that own the company that's greater than 20%. And you can attach a separate sheet if necessary. If I was you, I would download your articles, your annual report from the state registration, which it will list everybody that's registered with the business. And you can write in the percentage of ownership next to that, which is something quick and fast that you can do. Then it asks you another series of questions yes and no questions for us um is your business or the owner presently suspended disbarred pro proposed of debatement declared ineligible voluntary excluded from participating in this transaction by any federal department or agency or presently involved in any bankruptcy has the business any of its owners or any businesses owned or controlled by any of them ever obtained a direct or guaranteed loan from the SBA or any other federal agency that is in currently delinquent or has defaulted in the last seven years and caused a loss to the government? Is the business or any owner and owner of any other business or have common management with any business? If yes, attach a listing of all affiliate businesses that you are part of and describe the relationship in addendum A. Next question, has the business received an SBA economic injury disaster loan between January 31st, 2020 and April 3rd, 2020? If yes, you need to provide details on a separate sheet of paper and identify as addendum B. Applicants who are individuals and all 20% or greater owners of the business must answer the following questions. If questions five or six are not answered, yes, or question seven is answered no, then the loan will not be approved. See, they actually tell you on the application what questions will determine whether you get approved or not. So business owners, you need to pay attention and make sure you have your records in order. So question five, six, and seven are the following. Are you presently subject to indictment, criminal information, arraignment, or other means by which formal criminal charges are brought in any jurisdiction or presently incarcerated on probation or payroll. Question number six, within the last seven years for any felony or misdemeanor for a crime against a minor, have you one, been convicted, two, pleaded guilty, three, plead no content contest, four, been placed on pretrial dis diversion or five been placed on any form of parole or probation including probation before judgment you need to answer that question seven are you a u.s citizen or you have lawful permanent resident status so again you must if the each the person that answer these questions or fill out this form all members of the business that have 20 percent of or greater ownership of the business must answer questions five, six, and seven. If questions five and six, five is the one with the criminal record, six is the one that you've been um, within the last seven years had a felony or misdemeanor. If you answer yes to that question and answer no to number seven, that you are not a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent residence, you will not qualify for this payroll protection program with the SBA. So I just wanted to come on. There's some other things that you need to fill out and certify being 20% ownership or greater in the company and as well this information i will have this form available on my website by um friday for you to download and view for yourself but i just wanted to hop on and do this podcast to let you know that the help is there but there is some criteria that you're going to have to meet also they got other resources that updates that i received today on other programs the paycheck protection that's the one i went over the application the emergency economic injury grant the small business debt relief program and then their resource resource partners to help you with free consultation and counseling but coming up in and later this month i will be interviewing congressman al lawson about the benefits and the perks of small business owners getting the help to walk through the process with the application to get the funding to you so you can sustain your business. I just wanted to come on and share this brief information with you that I've been flooded with emails with and I thought it was important that I needed to hop on and put this on the podcast to put it out there for all my small business owners, local, state, federal, national, and global. 
So this is your host, Teresa Gamble, the founder of CRPC Consultant and ENT Gamble Enterprises, coming to you with the COVID-19 episodes on local, state, federal, and global updates, news, resources, and tips for small business owners. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next update.